Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshireman 66, I am Mark, your, well I'm your entertainment for, to, for today and for tomorrow and so on and so on. So, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, I thought I'd do the history of the UK, United, UK roads, you know, the early history if you would like, you know, where did it all start? Well, according to what I've got here, earliest, uh, the earliest speci specifically engineered roads were built during the British Iron Age. The road network was expanded during the Roman occupation, although some roads have much older origins. The, the network was heavily developed from the 1950s to the mid-90s. And so, well, we all know that, don't we? What we're interested in. So the United Kingdom has a network of roads of varied quality and capacity, totalling about 260,300 miles. 266,300 miles of roads distance are shown in miles or yards. UK speed limits in miles per hour or by the use of the national speed limit NSL symbol <laughs> which we all know what that is. Great Britain Northern Ireland yeah. So the earliest specifically engineered roads were built during the British Iron Age network was expanded during the Roman occupation. So if we go there, British Iron Age, controversial name used, the archaeology of Great Britain, referring to the prehistoric and protostoric phases of Iron Age culture of the main island, small but island, and typical excluding prehistoric island which had an independent Iron Age culture of its own. The parallel phase of Irish archaeology formed in the Irish Iron Age and the Iron Age is not archaeologically horizon and common effect. Hmm. So there you go. Some of the roads will remain to this day. So, so there you go. So it, it comes all the way back from Iron Age, isn't it? You know, you know, you know, you got your Iron Age where the road started. See, I told you, we, us pedestrians and horses and horse and cart, things like that, were first. I knew I knew I were right. And yeah, the earliest years it goes right back to Iron Age basically. And Romans extended on that very heavily. And that, you know what I mean, and so on and so on. They're always expanding somewhere, aren't they? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. That's what I wanted to know, really. You know, all about the Romans and road network, tax and charges, road traffic history. Yeah, tax and charges might be interesting. Yeah, the Turnpike Trust roads have been funded from tax uh, from taxation. Two new vehicle duties were introduced on the locomotive duty and the trade car duty in the eighteen eighty eight budget since nineteen ten. The proposed road vehicle excise duty were dedicated to fund and building and maintaining of the road system. Well they don't spend a lot of money on it. In the 1920s to 19, most roads in the United Kingdom were funded from the road fund using taxes raised from fuel duty and vehicle excise duty since 1937 have been funded. I wonder how they're going to fund it now then. Tax I can't tell you. Be funded from general taxation with all moving duties. Total tolls and congestion charges. Well, we all know about them, because there's a hell of a lot of them in there. But the main one, what I wanted to 
talk about it, you know, Iron Age of Romans, you know, Romans did, a, a, you know, did leave us a, a decent road system. And that's what, you know, so it starts at the Iron Age, all the way through to the Roman occupation. And that's what they left us. I mean, if you look at what, you know, I know all right, the Romans did, 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 you know, come and conquer us and things like that. But at the end of the day, what do they leave behind? Well, I'll tell you what they left us behind. A way to do central eating, things like that. Out, outdoor Roman baths, things like that. Building roads. Left a lot of them around, I'll tell you. Some do exist today, old Roman roads, I'll tell you. And they're straighter than ours, I'll tell you that for nothing. Yeah, you know I mean, so when people say that, you know, you know, the car is king, no, it's not. Tell you what, we're king, the horse, car, and pedestrians. They're king. Then after that came bicycle. You know, bicycle, what you pedal, push by. Now, I am in no way saying, you know, you know, you know so there you go. The, then for 68 years, we had no cars on road until we were first, first introduced. And when that happened, they they took our roads and turned them into what we've got today. One hell of a mess, in my opinion. So when the motorists complain about the cyclist, they have no right to complain whatsoever. They have to share and share and share alike. And it's as simple as that. And whoever come up with the idea, oh well, you know, you know, e-bikes should be on car licences. Well, one, they don't know what they're talking about. Two, they're deluded. And three, they're not a cyclist. It's as simple as that. Um, e-bikes, you know, especially the ones what you, you pedal, you can't ride them like a moped anymore because they haven't got that. And if you have got that throttle, that's illegal since 2015. So, if you've got an e-bike and it's pedal assisted, no, they shouldn't be. They should be left alone. Like push bikes, what I ride and things like. That. I don't have an e-bike. I ride normal bike, and they should not be licensed. And it's as simple as that. So when the motorists say, "Oh yeah, where where the no, no you're not." Yeah, yeah, when cars come, then vans and trucks and wagons and things like that, they 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 just turned it into one big mess. Can you imagine if a car was never invented? We'd have peace, wouldn't we? <laughs> we won't be talking about climate change and things like that. We'd just have peace. You know what I mean? We'd be cycling everywhere and walking everywhere. But, you know, you know the, the only buses would be horse-drawn and things like that. You know what I mean? That's how it was back in the day so can you just imagine it if that car had if the internal combustion engine hadn't been thought of or invented you'd have nothing but push bikes on the road <laughs> so yeah so that's my argument so so what i want to talk about you know the earliest forms of road well i'd say it started with the iron age and then it went on to the um onto the uh Roman road now the old Roman part of, of the of the old Roman road is the main road the old A1 what connects the south to the north that's part of it there when you think about it and going on and on and on on, on that way there's hell of a lot of roads what we've lost through modernization I mean got to think modernization started Victorian today and right so but modernization of our roads really started when the romans landed here and that's when they modified the iron age road and continued that road infrastructure to connect the north to the south and, and basically on and on and on like that so they could have a trade route basically that's what the romans were, were here for to trade with the rest of europe they just thought they could take us over because they thought it would be easier. They didn't realise it gets really cold and didn't last long. I mean, they stayed for a thousand years, but what I'm saying is, it didn't really last all that long. But that's what happened. You know, so you got all that infrastructure of how the Romans, you know, they built the roads. 
they, they're engineering marvels when you think about it. When you look at the Colosseum and things like that, you think, how the hell? Well, they did. They did build it. And they've done a really good job at the time. So, early roads dates all the way back to the Iron Age. I mean, um, start of the date was 1200 BC start date part of the yeah yeah so the Iron Age is 1200 1200 BC um, and that where you go with Roman Roman Empire occupation lasted from AD 43 to AD 410 during the time Tams was raised the state of a Roman province. So there you go. <coughs> so there you go. So yeah. So there you go. Iron Age, then Romans. Simple as that, Romans tacked off, you know, they <coughs> improved what we what we had, so they could trade with the north to the south. So there you go, so that's how, you know, so it, it comes down to, you know, the, the very fundamental of Romans. Um, a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> When the Roman occupation started out of, of, of England, you know what I mean? So, there you go. So, yeah, so that's what, you know, I wanted to talk about, you know, the roads in general, you know, you know it started all the way from Iron Age. You know, Iron Age started way before Roman times, I know that. You know what I mean? So, and then, yeah, for, yeah, 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 you know, 43 you know, AD to 4, 4, 420 AD or something like that. So, that's 420 AD. A long time, eh? It's a long time to occupy somewhere. Well, that's what they did, and then we finally got it back off them. And what did we do? We copied what they, that what they started. We we, we copied basically. We went that way about things. So uh, yeah. So there you go. History of the roads. Well, UK part UK history of the roads, and that. So yeah, that's how it all started. Uh, it, it all became pedestrianised, yeah, yeah, it was for the people, uh, you know, we did walk everywhere, we went everywhere, walking, oxen cart, I mean people say oxen cart, they, yeah, 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 big ox, sweet horns, oxen cart, that's how they used to do it, or bull or whatever, horse, oxen cart, yeah, they used to ride horses up and down, then if we couldn't afford that, you had to walk everywhere. Hence Shanks's pony, and Shanks's pony means walking, doesn't it? So there you go. So yeah. So from all that lot, right up to when the first bicycle was ever invented and, and introduced into everyday life, as for like exercise. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, you you've got to think when you look back at old photographs with people on old push bikes, like old Penny Farthing, they were dressed up. You know, they wore suits and top hats and things like that. you got to think cycling's come a long way. You know what I mean? It, it's come a hell of a long way. I mean, I don't wear lycra or all like that. I don't wear any any of that bump. I just wear my normal clothes. And that's what I do, so... It's, it's, up, to, it's up to each and every individual how you ride your bike. As long as you're riding responsibly, that's how it is. But when you think about it, you know, you know the Roman period of where... And how we got the road in the beginning. I mean, only reason why the Victorians tarmacked a road because they wanted something smooth to 
ride on with the new bikes you see you know going to the smooth road and, and that's what we got basically and then it was hijacked as you all know by the motor care so yeah so that's my little video for today i hope you've enjoyed it if you have liked it please, please give me a thumbs up please like the video it uh, no please like the video please subscribe if you're new you see you subscribe hit the bell hit all and that will let you know when i'm uploading another video please 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 share the video to your friends and family and also to twitter instagram and facebook and also please comment below and i thank you and i'll see you on the next video bye for now